Okay, what does God is the love in which I forgive mean to me? Uh, so God, God is, you know, for me, what, what it's indicating, whether it's God is the love in which I forgive or I pray to the Holy Spirit to help me forgive uh, this, this uh, individual, is the uh, um, it's it's the asking of grace of of God of the higher realms to help one to forgive the thing that one has picked up. Uh, you know, if I was to say I forgive you, I mean it tends to you know it's like I. I, I, my ego wants to forgive you. I mean, my ego doesn't want to forgive you <laughs> uh, because it's like um, the small ego, uh, its true motive is not to forgive. It wants to carry on its existence. So when I, it's not as powerful when I say, okay, I'm going to try and forgive you for what you did, you know. Um, but if you say God's love, it's like inviting God, God's infinite love to, to be part of the equation uh to to lift that illusion or that error or that um my identified ego um being angry at that other individual for doing this thing so it's um uh, it, for me it's a form of humility that uh, probably in truth my ego doesn't want to forgive it wants probably wants to kill you or something <laughs> dear um but um but uh, but god is the love uh, and that and that's the humility for me to ask for that divine aid uh, uh, of God, and also to to have uh, the humility that you know, in truth, God you know is asking God, and God has the love to help me to forgive. Uh, but also, it's a thing of if I connotate that as I forgive you, and don't you know pray to the Holy Spirit, to God, or to the angels for help, then um, you know the power. Uh, there and I think usually, generally, when an ego is holding, when my ego is holding a resentment, it's usually not the best one to rely on for a thing because usually it will just say, "Well, that person doesn't deserve to be forgiven" or something, you know. Or I think the course talks about it, or so, some literatures talk about it. It's like, "I'll forgive them," but it won't really be proper forgiveness. It'll be more like, um, "I'll forgive you, but if you do anything like that again, I'm going to clobber you on the head" or something like that. And uh, but. I'm just going to be more spiritual than you for today or something like that. So I think it's um, anyway, that's how I see it. But we can we'll have group discussion in a moment. We can all uh, give our take on that's lovely. Thank you, Demetra. All right. Um, oh, uh, we had a late um, just to let um, Jen know uh, next week. It'll be on a Sunday, four to uh, four to six on Sunday, just for next week. Um, uh, and uh, it'll be on the same Zoom details. Um, so I just showed that earlier today. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have group discussion very soon. Yes, but I'll quickly just read a little bit of the course lesson that I was inspired to read for today, and then we'll go into group. And we can all share on God is loving, which I forgive, or, or anything else. Okay, just very quickly, I uh, got it prepared. Uh, I felt I wanted to share on it. Well, I don't need to share on it. Oh, oh well, okay. A quick, quick advert. I'm, I'm going. I'm, uh, yeah, my talk next Saturday uh, at ACM.org is God did not create fear, disaster, horrors, and illusions, so they're not real, and that's from ten to one. Okay, a quick plug over advert. Okay, lesson one hundred ninety nine. I'm not a body. I am free, for I am as God created me. I think, hold on. Uh, okay, that's not going well. Oh, I see. 